Mullen. I know. Are you as sick as me <clears throat> to your Facebook news feed? I'm tired of people and their stupid photos of food. And how about all the pictures of the kids heading back to school? Blah, blah, blah. Only we're allowed to put pictures of ourselves online, and it's cool. And we are the raw hogs, and we like to take pictures of ourselves. Self-love is important, so we enjoy looking at all of your posts. Most Correct. Of them. Most of them. Um, so, welcome everybody to episode three. Hola, and como estas ustedes? In Spanish means... I don't know. Erin, in Spanish, how do you say duck? Quack, quack. Alitos. Burritos. <laughs> Burritos. What do you think of that last picture I have there, the lady with the little duck in her hand thing? I think it's cute. Okay. I'm a little over. I don't get the duck. Do we have some pictures of the duck? I do believe we have some pictures of the okay, duck. Okay, there's one. You can't see me, but I'm in the background the with a baby gun. The guy looks hot. The guy looks hot, yes. What do you think of this one? I think the duck is going to eat the steak. It's beautiful, that one, actually. I think it's just... Ducky. It's ducky. <laughs> it makes me want a duck. That makes me happy. It makes me look like the duck is going to get impaled by the ship. That looks like a scary one. Almost like the duck is exhaling some weed smoke out of his mouth or something. That looks like the duck is like Godzilla. Yeah. So, um, 412-567-0381 is our phone number. So if you want to call in today, Mr. David in Controls is going to let us know. Right, and we challenge you to call us with all your questions. And especially about the duck. We want to see if you can rattle us. I don't think you can. What's, Call it. What's that mean? Like shake us. Give us something we can't answer. Like make us mad or? No, just like try to beat us at our own game. Okay. Which All I right. don't think you can. So how does the duck make you feel? The duck makes me feel questionable. I don't understand the duck. I think it's cute and happy and fun. But uh, yeah, once you see it, it's uh, okay, you saw the duck. I Move was on. confused to the duck at first, but now that I saw it in the ocean, it, or the ocean, what is that thing? That's a river. River. Um, that I think that it's like, it's kind of cool and relaxing. And I think that society is so friggin' messed up right now that seeing a big mother effing duck in the river. It so makes me want to sing. Robert Duck. Key, you're the one. You make bath time. My uncle used to bathe me <laughs> so for years. Father Joe. Okay. Okay. So anyways, we have a little video. We headed into uh, the studio. We've been putting little signs on the street. Which we always do, which get a lot of attention. A lot of people calling and a lot of people questioning what they mean. Yeah. So this past week, we put a sign out on the street, missing large rubber yellow duck. We received numerous phone calls about the rubber duck, actually. Rubber duck, you're the one. Let's roll to that magical rubber footage now. <laughs> Rainy. Hi. What's your opinion on the duck? Reading my dive book. Oh, I love the duck. I saw the duck yesterday. I was so excited. I mean, that thing's 40 feet tall, well-rounded, wide-eyed. The yeah. beak is perfect. I love that duck. It's huge. What else is huge? <laughs> the beak. I wanted to quack. Quack, quack. What else did it make you want to do? What Maybe rhymes with duck? say it. Yeah. What rhymes with duck? Truck. <laughs> Mr. Guess, what did the duck make you feel like? Happy. What rhymes with duck? The duck makes me feel excited. I want to ride it. Get on top. It's 40 feet high. It'd be fun. Okay, the duck makes me feel happy, but I do think people are making it kind of too big of a deal. The duck makes me joyful and giddy. He's adorable. You just want to squeeze him. It's like King Kong's duck is in the river. The duck makes me feel wet. Is that bad? It just thinks of bathtubs and that fun times, you know. I absolutely love the duck. I went to a wedding downtown on Saturday and got out of the car while it was moving and stood up on a guardrail to take pictures. And then my dad started driving away. The duck makes me what? How does it make me feel? Well, I'm getting really annoyed because everyone keeps calling and telling me that they found my duck. Where is this duck? Thank you for calling Studio Raw. Anita speaking. Yes, can you please pick him up? Thank you. The duck. The duck. What is it? I don't know. It I mean, looks like a liver spot. It's an age. It's from sun. You think? But it's bad. It's not as it's bad dark. as that. But what's that? You have marionette lines and your makeup's laying in them. You might need injectables. Are they really? It makes me say WWCD. What's that mean? What would Cher do? What would Cher do? Yeah, I, you know what, I, I do feel, this is my insecurity area, the Homer Simpsons, 
I got a hot dog forehead. And Erin has a large Oreo cookie sized page spot on her face. I do, but I put a lot of makeup on it that I borrowed from Dean. <laughs> but it is an age spot. Which what? leads me to wonder <laughs> since Miss Cher's making her comeback, and we know how you gays love Cher. Which she is? She is. She was on the Today Show. She's been touring. Ooh, look at that picture. Look at her go. Why is she so shiny? She just got a fresh feel. <laughs> Do they, okay, this was from the Today Show. How'd you like her outfit? I mean, it's for 70 some years. I like the She's jacket. She's 67. I did look that up today. Okay, Cher is looking pretty damn good. I agree. Now, that's old Cher. That's original Cher, but still. This was actually from a month ago. This, no. Uh, no, actually. That's her original nose. Okay, that's... Still not bad. If, is this a bad picture? You know what? Cher is amazing. Look at her. I mean, as fake and phony as it is, she looks incredible. Eat your heart out, Marsha Monster. Oh. Okay. No, that's just me. <laughs> She's just trying to go to Whole Foods like normal people. <laughs> and Why back. is Ozzy checking her ass out is my question. Well, Ozzy was in Whole Foods. Who's on the, ass. wait, Cher's on the right. Okay. So what are your opinions on facial work, like what Cher's had done? What, what are your insecurity areas? Mine's definitely all that stuff. And that lately I've been seeing some stretchies on that ass. Huh. Do you have them? No, because I'm perfect. Let me see. No. Okay. Um, I want to see some other people's opinions on Do you believe in life after love? I like half breed. That's all That's I know. That's Bette Midler. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's Bette. It's, it's Cher. Um, Gypsies, charms, and birds. Okay, David, she's that? killing me. Can we go to the video? <laughs> I don't want to hear Aaron singing anymore. It's better than Cher. So, we need to ask you what's going on right now. Uh, we are doing a Paul Mitchell color class currently. What do you think about Cher? Should she or should she not retire? Well, I think she should come back from retire. She's amazing. I think she can. I think she's going to be great. What's your favorite song? Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves. I'm, I'm an old timer, so. I think she's a goddess and needs to come back. Uh, no. Mm -mm. No, she should not retire. I want to see another burlesque movie in her. Do you like Cher? I did. You did. Yeah. No, no. She should be done. Okay, and share yes or no? Yes, I love her. Love her. Love her. Love her. You're the classiest day in town. You're sweet. I like her. Yeah. Why? She may as well do it till she dies, Dan. Do you think that you would put on a singlet like she will, stand out on the street and oh. sing? <laughs> I love Cher. I think she should keep going, man. Why lay down? Keep going. There's only one day in your life when you need to lay down. It's not now. There is also a very important skincare class going on. If anybody knows good skincare, it's Cher. Let's see what they have to say. Um, she's amazing. Do you think she should retire? No. What do you think about her skin? It's gorgeous. I think, um, yay, like 30 years ago. <laughs> Yes, I love her, but Cher. What's your favorite song? I want where she wears that Indian headdress thing. Uh, she's amazing, so yay, I'll be to share. Oh. Do you have a favorite song? No. Half breed, <laughs> half breed. What about gypsies, tramps, and thieves? Cher should not retire. It. There you have it. Amen. Hey, if you're on Justin.tv, Roku, Smart TV, or MondoClub.com, thanks for watching again. We greatly appreciate it. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> so, Aaron, what are your views on drugs and alcohol? They're bad. Don't do it. Mm. Have you ever done any? Yes, I have. Drugs or alcohol? Yes, I have. I never <laughs> have, actually. <laughs> but um, what do you think Chelsea lately is on? Vodka. Do you th she really, like, I mean, she's amazing, but I do have to say every time I watch the show, I'm like, what is it? Like, what is it? I don't know if she's necessarily on something. I think she just knows how to have fun and she's be like, obnoxious. Like some she's people. She's like that. <laughs> and I do it stone sober. Yes. Okay. Anyways. So you weren't at Cruise Bar where Fortune Fimester was. And this is kind of our controversial interview this week. This is the one that brought all the heat that apparently some people were upset about and you know who you are. Yeah. And yeah. we're sending you flowers this week. Thanks again. Magnolias. Um, Poison Ivy. Anyways, we do all kinds of footage through town, so if you see us coming, we're only trying to help and promote have and have fun. So when we walk in the door, don't look at us and be like, why are you here? We're here to film. 
That's it. It's as simple as that. Clearly we have a camera and lighting. We're not even like charging for these little events. And we're trying to help you, the community, catapult into the next level because you know damn well the news isn't going to show up. So we're not out to, to be bastard a-holes. No. Well, anyway, night. so the I missed the night. So Dan, tell them all about it. I was kind of not there and I was sad. Well, upon being rudely <laughs> greeted, I was then escorted to the back near the dumpster where Fortune was. Why were you rudely greeted? Because they didn't know who you were. They were like, I didn't know you were coming. And you can't just walk in for free. So uh -huh. anyways, so anyways, Fortune was finishing a <laughs> pizza. So I was told to wait, which is cool. So she came here. Fortune's <laughs> awesome. She okay. is such a baby girl. I loved her. And she had fluffy hair? She had fluffy hair. Um, I had, Fortune, I never actually really knew who you were until that night, I'm going to be honest. But now I do. Now I'm a follower. And um, that's not nice. I want your opinion, Erin, on the interview that I did. Do you okay. find it inappropriate? And I did cut a few little things out. I've not gotten to see this yet, so I'll be the, I'll be the real judge. I won't lie. All right. So this was at Cruise Bar. I, I believe she was doing stand up that night. I hope. Or so you didn't say service. to actually see the show? <laughs> well, I was there for free. I didn't want to be a freeloader. So mm -hmm. let's, let's cut to the footage now, kids. Okay, so on a percentage scale of how much you like boys, how much you like girls, what is it rated at? Well, I love boys, but not in the same way that I love girls. You ever had sex with a boy? I haven't. Nothing at all? No. Have been fingered by a boy? <laughs> what age were you when you first messed around with a lady? Oh, God, I, I was a late bloomer. It wasn't until my mid-twenties. And how was it? Uh, pretty awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you call yourself Fortune? It's my name. It's my middle name. Really? Where are you born? North Carolina. And what is one secret about North Carolina the world doesn't know? There are actually a lot of lesbians in North Carolina. It's like where a lot of mountain women hang out. Okay. Well, we actually have a woman here. Miss Jess, if you can come over this way. So, in looking at a woman like this, is this something that you would be attracted to? Well, how could you not be? Okay, what, what attracts you? I say deal. Right, so, how would you approach approach a stranger at a bar like this, you would kind of make the approach and say what? I was like, hey, uh, and that doesn't, it never no, works. She's going to think you're like weird, I think. No, totally, but then she'll... All right, so let's practice it, okay? All right, so let's go again, and... Hey, nice tits. Thanks. <laughs> That's yeah. how it works. Nice ass. Nice ass. I like those legs. I like those legs. What was your claim to fame? How did you get where you're currently at in life? Uh, I did Last Comic Standing. That's where it all kind of started. And what in the f*** Chelsea on during the show? <laughs> Well, it's usually vodka. Is it? Yeah. She hi. She makes no. Uh, she makes it no secret that how much she loves to drink. She's an alcoholic. A, a functioning one. Do you think you have what it takes to become the next power lesbian of America? I thought you were gonna ask me if I have what it takes to be America's next top model. I was like, yes. Uh, I lived in Spain for a year, so I speak un poco de español. Did you have any punto punto <laughs> while you were there? <laughs> what is that? The oldest chick you've ever been with. Uh, uh, 42. And give some words to the youth of America on being a gay person. Youth of America, being gay is awesome. Well, you know, as long as you don't get bullied. Bullying's not fun. We'll kick your f ass, kids, if you bully the gays. Yeah. Will you come live with us in Pittsburgh? Sure, as long as it's not in the winter. All right, one lesbian that you do not like that's a celebrity, go. <gasps> I don't know of any ones that I don't like. And who's your favorite dyke in town? Dyke in town, and that's a celebrity? Is the word dyke offensive? Um, I don't, I mean, a lot of lesbians call each other that. I don't love it. It makes me feel like I need to go to Home Depot. And... Oh, man, I see how very offensive you were, because I could see how offended she was by being so cradled into your crotch. <laughs> She looks very comfortable. <laughs> I found no offensive things whatsoever, and I give myself a pat for knowing Chelsea's own vodka. Do you think sometimes it could just merely stem from people just being jealous? They're haters. Go out in this world and do fun stuff like we do. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. It's fun. It's nice to be nice. Become our competition. But I think Fortune should work on our pickup lines. Yes. Uh, how did you like my... I mean, you prompting her still may not get her a date. One of the lines, one of the lines I cut out of that was, "Hey, you should wrap your legs around my neck," and I didn't think that would be. Yeah, that might not get her a date out. You don't think? No, but you that's think okay. Think that's where the gay guy was mad? No, I think the gay guy was mad because you were better looking than him. 
I'll drink to that. My marionettes were looking bad in that video. We have a little commercial actually we're going to go to uh, for like clean air, I believe. It's a clean, yes, a clean air run, I believe. Blown to my ear as we cut to it. here because then it looks better. That's uh, good. Yeah. Um, I find myself doing duck lips more. I don't like it. I don't like selfies with duck lips. Maybe you need filler. Maybe. Um, next commercial week, was cold. Commercial, commercial was, cold. was cold. The people running, I wish I could do it because I've kicked some serious ass, but I'll be working. So unfortunately, I will not be at the run to do the show, but I would love to do it. So next time people plan it on Sunday. Thank you. Yeah, Sundays are great days. We can help out a lot more. Saturdays, we're, at, we're working. I gotta help myself then. What's your thought on this girl's picture online right now? I think she should have shot it from a different angle because <laughs> that just doesn't even look good. Um, so what's your opinion on like selfies and whatnot? Like, I like selfies, but it's when certain people repeatedly post 27 selfies of themselves a day. Okay. Like one here, one there, that's fun. But when you're constantly posting pictures of yourself, it gets a little old. Do I do too many? I mean, sometimes. So what's your advice <laughs> on becoming a socialite? Because I want to be a socialite. I do, I'm not going to admit to well, you. I don't, I don't think people who are want to be. I think the people who try to be make it even worse and more obnoxious. Yeah, I would agree. Just would because agree. you go out and do stuff and have fun, I don't know if you necessarily set out to be a socialite, but there are those people I think that try. Yeah. We went to uh, Costumes for a Cure. Where was that at? Actually, I should say I went to. You were actually... Being at a heterosexual wedding. Right. <laughs> but this was a heterosexual event by Chelsea's of New York. Um, I don't know much about them. I don't know if they're from New York or from here, but they have really cool costumes. What is Chelsea's of New York? It is a clothes thing. Okay. Which I should have been there because my gay friend here knows nothing about clothing and things like but that. But I found all the girls that I thought were really hot and sexy and asked them what it takes to become a socialite in Pittsburgh. And Thanks these were their answers. <laughs> and then, Erin, I actually also, um, when we get back from that, want your opinion on a few things. Okay. This might land you in some trouble. Okay. My name is Nikki Tiani, and I am the new owner of Chelsea's of New York. And um, I just want three words to sum the lineup. Amazing! What would you consider on something like myself? We have a line called the crotch rocket. All right, so what in God's name is a socialite? A socialite is someone who's powerful, beautiful, and who everybody wants to be. And do you consider yourself one? Um, I mean, I don't have an ego, but... I think I'm a very powerful person. I stand on my own two feet and I don't take shit from anybody. Oh, bitches, watch my ass. Bitches, watch my ass. <laughs> she will steal your man. No, no, I have my own. A socialite is just us here hanging out, being, being friends. The life of the party, going around town, doing what we do, having fun. I'm 44, a flight attendant. And how dirty are airplanes? Disgusting. Have you ever found a tampon or something? Yes. Oh. Oh. I have a lingerie calendar out, okay. Midnight Lingerie 2013, and um, I'm on the cover in four months inside. Are you married? No. Single? I'm single. I have a boyfriend. How do I become a socialite? You just hang out with all the right people and don't have a job, so you have time to party around. Be cute. Okay. Be confident like you. Yeah. How long you been together? <laughs> Two years. And what is one deep, dark secret you don't want him to know about you? I'm not going to say that because then that would be... What do you do for a living? Uh, what you cook with food, drinks, yeah. What is that? I'm a customer support specialist. What is a socialist? Um, I think it's somebody that goes number two a lot. Oh, no, 
eat a lot of celery, so I guess. They can choke you or break your arm. Has he ever bitten you? No. The only thing that's keeping him from killing me or you is just I'm respecting him. And is your snake a socialite? Yeah, he's been to raves, all kinds of stuff. I mean, he just thinks he's in a jungle. He's Does Alfredo like to do mollies? It's the first time for everything. You got some? So is that your natural hair color? Of course it's my natural hair color. And is it supposed to rain tonight? Yes. Do you always use protection when it rains? It depends. Have you ever not used protection? Only when it rains. What are some things that make girls that are pretty bitches? Definitely attitude, yeah. you know? Have you seen bitches before at clubs? Absolutely. What do you think about them? I go, ew, what a bitch. Now, there's a good bitch and a bad bitch. There is. Never tell anybody you are mad, depressed, or unhappy. Should people take Vicodin to be happy? Vitamin like say. painkillers, like a two or three before going out. No way! No. Ju just dress the way you want to and socialize. What's the socialize? She will sleep with your man, she will sleep with your family, she will be a party animal, she will vomit in your living room. <laughs> like, bitch, you just slept with my man. Oh um, no, I don't know that. Bitch, just slept with my man? Say it. <laughs> so, this is for a new television show called Women I Would Sleep With. I, none. No, I would sleep with you. Oh, okay. Okay, so what are you doing later? Um, sleeping with you. Okay, Mrs. Erin Mickle Mullen with a hyphen. Thoughts <laughs> on the answers. The one Asian girl who said she's a customer service specialist, if I had a call and that's who I talked to for customer service, I'd be beating myself in the face with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, you know, that's who you're calling when you have a problem, and that's and they don't understand English. That, ska that snake scared the hell out of me. It's the first time in my life I've ever been scared by a big, wet thing like a snake. Yeah, I don't like them. They're yeah. scary. No, it's spooky. But it was an interesting night. It looked like I'm kind of sad I missed it. Lots of people there. there were. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Teresa, ironically, who it was my favorite, Teresa Galger, she's, she is like an online crush of mine. Yes. Yes, she is. You know she is. I like to look at her photos, I'm not going to lie. She's very pretty. I understand, Teresa, are you really 54? And if so, that's amazing. She's probably mad that you just said that, but that's okay. 45. Wait. 35. 35. Yes, okay. she's 35. You're she's welcome, representing very well, though. So. She is. She looks good. I wish, um, I wish I could look like that when I grow up. Okay. <laughs> like that. All right. So anyways, we actually recorded all of the costumes. And I want Erin to give me your opinion as a female in regards to these costumes and possibly wearing them for Halloween, because I believe they're Halloween costumes. Correct. The fit, the style, the look. Do we know what this was benefiting? This was benefiting uh, red for heart disease. Okay, cool. Yep. So uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah. Let's see. There, we, there go. we go. All right, this is Kitty Cat Meow. She was actually a famous model, I believe. Okay, and this is Scary Snake. Very daring, wearing something with a side boobies. Big boobies. Big boobies. The circus. That's fun. I would wear that outfit. The circus is in town. Sassy. I would absolutely wear that outfit. This one I really liked. It was like loud and sassy and fun. Very cool. I like the fringe. This girl was owning it. Tight little body. Like I a like, peacock. I like the uh, She's feathers. one of the girls at Pretty Living PR. This I did not like. Too much fur. Well, is that a unicorn? Was that a free? And this one, um... Tail. I like the tail. Yeah. Oh, we do have the collar. I'm very excited for the collars. Yay! This one was very Chinese anime to me. And I like a choo Who doesn't love a choo -choo? Is the collar on right now? Yes, they're on. Collar? Collar? Yes, they are on. Oh, okay. Hi, my Hi caller. caller. Thank you for calling the Raw Hogs. What can we help you with? Whoa! I like that costume. I like the furry boots. Who does it? Caller? I like the astronaut. That was sassy. Caller, are you there? I can see some. Houston, we have a problem. This, uh, Caller, what do you think of the cop here? Look at that ass. Yes. <laughs> Casey, would you hang up and stop calling the show and interrupting your wife while she's working for free and not getting paid? Erin, you look good in that one right there. I like the furry hood. No, ooh, Wonder Woman. Caller, who's hotter, me or Dan? 
I don't think that was case. All right, this one. What do you think? I like the ears. It's fun. I would wear that for a night in with my husband. Was that your husband on the phone? Here's Teresa. So. My okay, gosh. this is Miss Butler. She looks very okay, sassy. No. <laughs> oh, I love you. This is Tamika Artist. Tamika Artist. This was bitchy. I bet you this outfit got her in some trouble. This is the camel toe one. Look, wait. Let's turn. Yeah, Watch so out. I can see it. Oh, oh, it's on your head. Nice, ah. nice bomb. Nice bomb, but a lot of... Army mateys. She struck this pose well. I loved it. Here's our customer service rep. She was on the end. She's really cute, but her English is awful. I just don't want her to call. She's so complete. sassy. This is our oh, flight attendant. Ahoy, mateys. Ahoy. <laughs> Ahoy. This one seemed a little 80s. That's typical. That's hot, though. She's pretty. I like her she hair. Is. She's fun. Everyone's always a playboy. I don't like the animal ones too much. I have that hat. I bought it at Target. I think it could cut her face. This should have been with high heels. I can't get out. Duck mother. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Come to us, now girl. Now that's sexy, but she's pretty. I like her. That's like Brooke Shields. That's Brooke Shields. She was looking sassy. Up. I she think it's really awesome. Nice. Okay, Mullen, come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm back. Well, I don't <laughs> think you were too mean. I don't know, because I would have liked to wear one of those outfits. I think they're fun and sexy. Wait, I think some of them are a little goofy, but it's fun. Somebody just wrote, Aaron Mullen, you are so rude. Sorry, Teresa. Oh. <laughs> so, um, what was just, your favorite costume? I like the Mickey Mouse, and even though you didn't like the Playboy Bunny one, or whatever that was, I liked it. I think it was pretty and sexy, and, and her hair looked cool. It was, like, doable. I thought the blue one, the showgirl, I think it was Teresa. That's because you have a crush on her. I really liked her as the best. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. You um, like the touch one. <laughs> and look at her. So, Aaron, we Tyson, also... Tyson, watch out. He's going to take you home, stuff you, and put you in a corner and just look at you all the time. So stay away from Van. <laughs> Teresa, would you go on a date with me that no. we could film for the show? Well, make sure it's in public because I'm afraid of what he might do to you. We invite you on a date. Okay. See if you want to. Right. And uh, Fashion Week was in town. We met Miyoshi. And she is not a unicorn. She's a real person. She's actually a Nintendo character from Sega. She's Sega. Miyoshi is heads up Fashion Week, I, I assume. She seems to be like the big wig. Everybody was bowing to her and praying at her feet and treating she, her like a god. She was getting her ass kicked. The people were like, she is like the RuPaul kind of the drag she queen. She handled it all. She handled it all and she put on a good event. And uh, we went and met some of the designers and saw some of their fashions. We did. And, uh, it was amazing to me how many people did not want to be filmed to was, sell their things. I was going to just say that, Erin. Actually, the designers aren't even in this video. You'll see that somewhere else on Gay Life Television. We were told when we arrived there were two designers that said we could be cool. Right. But there were four designers that said, oh, no, 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 no. Like, they only want to. I'm like, okay, fine. Don't ever sell your stuff. That would be like me saying, don't come to Studio Raw and in the North Hills, 367-2444, and get your haircut with me, Erin, at Studio Raw. I'd be like, right. me not doing that. Yeah, <laughs> so we just put the mic like this. We're like, what do you want? <laughs> Good. But for those that did, honestly, you're going to go so much further with your fashion. Like, when you sell yourself, you go further. Duh. Yeah. Duh. So, where were we? We were at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh on uh, Boulevard of the Allies. Yes. It was a fun building. I was coming from a wedding. Aaron's husband had dropped her off. So she said, pick me up. So, I, she was dressed like a hooker. Like a hooker. She looked good on the boulevard. We're going to cut to that magical fashion Miyoshi footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Let's see if we can find Miyoshi. Excuse me. Did you guys see Miyoshi in there? Yes. She is in there. Yes, she is. She is not a unicorn. She is a real person. She's a real person. She was in there. Uh, I love Laura Hillman's designs. Were any of the girls topless? be honest, I want your true answer. Was anyone not quite owning it tonight on the runway? My true feelings is that everybody owned it on the runway. I just enjoy taking pictures, and that's ex actually what I got to do today, so it was fun for me. Did you get any beaver shots? All right, I have two design. well, one designer here, right? And, and one model, yes. And one model. Okay, what is your name? My name is Asia. Was there anyone's outfit that you looked at and thought, I don't really care for that? I think it's ugly. <laughs> oh, oh, but, um, right, so how much better do you think your designs are than the people that had shows tonight? Go ahead, say it. <laughs> say it. Did anything go through your mind like, I want to light it on fire because I hate it? <laughs> Absolutely not because that's not, you know, the type of person I am. But I love the um, designs tonight. I do. Lying, lying, lying. I'm not lying. Um, I'm not, but um, my style will be a little different. There was one outfit, though, and I'm not going to say names, and I'm like, 
Why is this even here? At any point, did you want to take the outfit, dulse it, and kerosene and burn it? No, unless my name's Miranda Lambert. I can read it in your face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look who's here. It is Miyoshi. Hi, everybody. You have hunted me down at the Art Institute. We are here with our last fashion show. It was extraordinary. Did you ever wear jogging pants with pee on them? Like to the grocery store? No. no. What would you wear to the grocery store after 10 p.m.? Go. I would wear jeans, some smoker slippers, maybe even a button-down shirt. It depends on if it's cold outside. I'm always rocking a hat. www.pittsburghfashionweek.com. We're in our fourth year, going into our fifth year. So rock it out. We'll see you next year, 2014. Rumor has it you said that you hope Pittsburgh Fashion Week does not return next year. Me? <laughs> well, it's going to be. If it does return next year, it's going to be for its fifth year, and it's going to be fabulous. Fashion Week was a success, I think. Yeah, it was good. It was fun. Yeah. And that's all i got to say about that. Anyways. <laughs> so coming up next two weeks, not next week, but the week after in the next Raw Hogs, Erin, we had a door at Studio Raw we signed for what? Out for Equality. It will be in Market Square. And we would go in there and see people's reactions. Yeah, they're going to have doors on display in Market Square between 10 a.m. and 6.30 or 7 p.m., uh, business owners supporting equality, equal rights. Also, Sunday, October 13, is the Halloween in Shenley Park, mm -hmm. um, where Ron and I met in the loop. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, that'll be from 12 to 2. I might swing down. And that's for animal friends. Yes, to dress up your little poochies. Um, Aaron, do you believe in psychics? Sometimes. It's well, going to tell me good things. <laughs> I'm taking Ron to one next week. So um, I thought we'd ask her some questions and see if you can guess what the answer was. I think that'll be fun. Okay. Because I can read your report. And your husband's a lawyer. What does he think about the government issue right now? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> so anyways, we yeah. did talk to people that will be giving their opinions. And last but not least, we want you people to take your cameras and take selfies of yourself. Put them on our walls. Dan Barta, Aaron Mullen, or the Raw Hawks Facebook walls. For Justin.tv, Roku, Smart TV, Mondoclub.com, we thank you, we love you, we support you. Aaron said she'll give you a very sexy massage if you keep watching. We want all of you people to take selfies of yourselves and put them onto our walls because we're going to judge them. <laughs> so put yourself up on the cutting block for Miss Aaron Mullen. That's a good one. Yeah, oh, that was kind of scary. Hey, we'll see you guys in two weeks. Yeah, Toodles. Thanks.